Hi, I'm Eli Roth with Fandango Movie Clips. Here are some things to know before you go for my new film, The Green Inferno. The Green Inferno is about a bunch of students from New York City that decide they are gonna go and save the Amazon and they're gonna stop construction to protect the last uncontacted tribe. They save the tribe and on the way home, their plane crashes and the villagers think that they're intruders and dart them and take them in the village and the kids become their food supply. The Green Inferno was filmed in a village that is completely cut off from society. We had to conceptually explain to this village what a movie was. How did we do that? The Peruvian producers gathered the whole village around and they said, we're gonna show you a movie called Cannibal Holocaust. This is the single most violent film ever made. Luckily, the village thought it was a comedy and all 300 villagers voted and they agreed to let us shoot there. Now these people had never acted before, so we had to explain to them action, cut. The kids loved it. They loved picking up the parts of the dead bodies. Everybody wanted to be covered in blood. Everybody wanted to eat somebody. They all thought it was hilarious. They thought we were making a comedy. And they were amazing actors. Imagine someone with no awareness of the camera. No frame of reference for what it's like to be photographed. So they were amazing. They were some of the best actors I ever worked with. The kids in the movie really, really got into it. They caught a baby python. The kids thought it would be funny if when the Americans in the cage, you threw a live snake at them. And I was like, that's actually a great idea. We were shooting in Chile where the safety laws are a little bit different. So the actors, Kirby and Magda, looked at me and they go, wait, is that thing poisonous? And we go, no, 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 it's a python, don't worry. I'm hiding behind the camera and I go, action, action. And the kids are just like dangling, slapping these girls in the face with a python. And if you freeze frame it, the snake is like <laughs> and its teeth are out literally an inch from their eyeballs. <laughs> the Green Inferno is inspired by Occupy Wall Street. It's about kids that latch onto causes that maybe they don't know everything about or don't believe in or latch onto it because it's trendy. I kept noticing hashtag of the week. Is everyone going, how can you not care? Kony 2012, child soldiers in Uganda. You get the feeling that now there are these kind of social justice warriors that are out there to make you feel bad about everything. Social activism can be great. It can be in this amazing vehicle for change, but so many people, I feel, doing it not because they believe in the cause, but because they want to look like they care. They love being on the homepage of Reddit. I want to see kids like that just get eaten, eyeballs torn out, get their tongue sliced off, genitals mutilated. I want full on cannibal gore. That for me is hilarious. So. Green Inferno is a terrifying movie, but in a very perverse way, it's really fun to watch these kids get it. I'm Eli Roth for Fandango Movie Clips. Thanks for watching and check out The Green Inferno, September 25th. Can you take the heat?